Let's go back to the word assumption and the filter that the director sees this story from. How much does a director really have to check their own worldview? Their own worldview? Mm -hmm. For the filter that they see the yeah. world through, which has years of good things, bad things, yeah. traumas, abandonment, happiness, yeah. praise. How much do they really have to know themselves to see, am I projecting this worldview, which may not be correct, onto every story. Okay, a couple, you know, first of all, how much do they know themselves? Yeah, and how important is first, that? First of all, really important to know themselves. Um, I'm not, it's really important to know themselves. I'm sort of struggling a little bit with how much do they have to check themselves. But let's go back to know themselves. I think they really have to know themselves a lot. Um, know who they are. I think the, the more you know who you are, the know, more you know about your assumptions, your prejudice, prejudices, your um, view of life and the world because of your life experiences and how you see things through different filters, the more you know that, the better director you're going to be. The, 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 uh, the more um, able you may be to get out of the way. Your job is to get out of the way, out of the story, and not try to impose something. Um, on a story or on characters. There's a um, process of the Travis Technique, which I don't know if you and I have talked about much at all, uh, called Write Your Life, which is, and it's, it's a very important part of the whole process, which is storytelling. And it's storytelling, not so much writing, even though it's called Write Your Life, but it's autobiographical storytelling, taking a, an event in your life and telling one event in your life. Maybe it only takes three, four, five minutes to tell this event. The question is, when you're telling an event in your life, can you tell it honestly? If you're telling something that happened to you, this is what I love about this workshop and this way of working, that event is already written. There's nothing to write. It happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this is the event that happened done. So there's nothing to create. What, the, what your challenge is, is how do I tell this story? How do I tell this story openly and honestly? Second question is, do you know yourself well enough? You are the protagonist of that event. How well do you know yourself? And how well are you willing to reveal yourself? in all your flaws and all your courage and all your trepidations, expectations, whatever was going on with you in that event. Can you really, do you really understand it? And can you, can you reveal it in the story, knowing that in that event, that you're gonna tell that little three minute event, your journey through that three minute story is the only thing that the story is about. What happened around you, let's say it was a birthday party that you went to or something like that and some strange things happened. All those things that happened around you and that impacted you, that's not the story. The story is how you felt, how you reacted, what you thought, what you were feeling, what you were desiring, what you were expecting. That's the story and that's the story of any character in any movie. So going through Write Your Life, can you even do that? How well do you know yourself? And the better you know yourself, and can see how you operate in any moment, the better you're going to be able to see other characters, the better you're gonna be able to work with actors. So this whole thing of knowing yourself is crucial and this is why we teach Write Your Life to so many writers, directors, and actors so that they can start from a point of self-awareness and self-revelation before going into writing the next script, before that, taking that next role before directing that next movie. If you know yourself, you say, I now understand how I operate as a human being. You'll understand every character you work with so much better. So that, that is crucial. And then getting back to your question about imposing your own worldview on it, you will be less likely to do that because you'll be more likely to want to honor the view of the characters. And there's one other aspect of this too, is that when you read a script and it impacts you, 
And I'm assuming you have this script that you've read that you want to make into a movie, and you've been really so moved by it, you say, I want to make this. My first question to you, the director, would be, great. <coughs> Why do you want to make this? All, the, all that. But what do you want to say? What do you want to do? The best answer to that is, I want to create this as a movie, this story as a movie, so that viewers will have the reaction I had to it. Not so I can push this message on them. I was so moved by this. I was so moved by these characters. I was touched. I was brought to tears and laughter. And I went on an emotional journey as I was reading this. I want to afford an audience, a viewer and audience, the same experience, knowing that for each member of the audience, it'll be different. It won't be exactly the same as mine. 